Good morning. I'd like to share a passage of scripture as I start today. It's from 2 Timothy chapter 4, these words that Paul addressed in a letter to his young friend who he mentored, Timothy. He wrote, in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. Well, I think we could all pretty safely say that the time lately has not been favorable, but has been unfavorable. And we have endured suffering. And it's been a challenge to know how to carry out ministry fully. But your church and staff and all of you as, as part of this church have been working hard and faithfully to, to learn and do things in different ways and new ways and continue to carry out the ministry of this church. And I'm grateful to all for that. I wanted to tell you today about uh, three things that are happening beginning this week uh, that are different, that will make a difference hopefully in our church. One is we're starting a Bible study this week, something we never would have done in the summer vacation season before. Uh, it's going to be done by Zoom, which means that people can do that on their computer or iPad, and we're offering it at different times of the day, different days of the week, different leadership, and we have around 50 people participating in that. So that's a very exciting development. It'll be a study of the parables, an opportunity for people to meet together and share together in a very different way. Uh, the good thing about Zoom is if you, even if you're on vacation, you can still participate. So uh, be in prayer for those folks, all of us who will be participating in that Bible study, that this will be a, a good step and an encouraging one for people. Sunday at noon, we're going to have a congregational meeting by Zoom, which will be a, a huge challenge. Uh, it's to elect a pastor nominating committee. Uh, my retirement date is the end of June next year, and uh, the last few months, the, the session voted to ask the Presbytery to allow us to establish a committee ahead of time so that hopefully we'll have somebody ready to start at my retirement. We have a wonderful group of nine folks who've been nominated to serve on that committee. They've been prepared since April to get started and we've been waiting to have a congregational meeting. And the session decided this past month that it couldn't be put off any longer, so we're gonna do it by Zoom. Uh, I don't think it's controversial business. I think it will go smoothly. We've never had any problem on uh, election of officers with nominating committee reports, so hopefully that will be true Sunday as well. We do need to have at least 60 people participate in that. Uh, there'll be a link going out to join that Zoom meeting uh, this week. So please put that on your calendar and whether you're at home or on vacation, join us at noon on Sunday. And my appreciation for Mandy and Stephen who will be the administrators of that meeting and walk us through how to participate, and how to vote and all those sorts of things. So prayers as we take that step as a church, please. Also Sunday morning, the, the Gathering Safely Task Force has given us permission to begin an outdoor worship service. That will happen at 8.30 on Sunday morning out in front of the chapel. This is not going to be the same as our 10.30 service. That will still be the main service each day, each week that we will stream that everyone has access to. This will be a for, informal 30-minute service probably of scripture and prayer and devotion. And Annette's gonna provide some instrumental music for us uh, during those services. So we invite you, if you would like to come, 
to do so at 8.30 on Sunday mornings. Uh, as in all things, if you're not feeling well, don't come. Uh, if you feel at risk, don't come. Uh, there's nothing that says that you ought to be here. If it's something you would really like to do and feel up to doing, then come join us. I would strongly encourage that you wear a face mask at this point in time since uh, cases have shot up so rapidly in our area. Uh, but come enjoy the outdoors and the opportunity to worship outdoors. And now I'd like for, you, for us to go out to the chapel for a minute so that you can see how things will be set up on Sunday. So this is where we'll do outdoor worship on Sunday morning here in front of the chapel. I'll be here and Annette and we'll be, lead, be leading the service from this point right in front of the chapel. So as you come on Sunday, you can park over here on Tiawatha Street if you like. And I encourage you to bring lawn chairs and set them up. We've got a beautiful amphitheater set up here uh, that you can spread your lawn chairs and blanket around and, and socially distance have uh, amplification so it won't be a problem for anybody to hear. You can also park in the parking lot on the other side of the sanctuary and walk across or down through the drive through We will have the, at the uh, Fellowship Hall building open and access to the restrooms that are in the gathering area. But my advice is go to the bathroom before you come. We're only going to be here 30 or 40 minutes, so don't worry about that. Just bring your coffee, but uh, not if it's going to make you go to the bathroom in the middle of the service. And enjoy being out here in the beautiful outdoors, and it'll be a different opportunity to worship in a different way if, if you'd like to be in person for a week. So I look forward to seeing those of you who want to come Sunday. Otherwise, we'll see you through uh, the service on YouTube or Facebook on Sunday and God's blessing on you all. Let's pray together. God, we're grateful for your continued presence as we go through this period of time when things are so different. We pray your strength and encouragement day by day and help us to know the ways to fulfill our ministry the way you want us to during this time. We pray for these things that are happening at, happening at church this week and ask your blessing upon all of them. Ask your guidance in all things. Grant us your peace and healing. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you and have a great day.